Good morning, Rock Church Facebook, my brothers and sisters on Twitter and YouTube. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson on this fabulous Friday. We praise God for each and every one of you. I thank God for the message that he has for us this morning. Those who are going to be watching by uh, during this afternoon and my brothers and sisters who are going to tune in this evening. May the Lord continue to bless each and every one of you all for your faithfulness. Come on, y'all. Let's get in the word of God. But before that, we're going to pray. Father God, we bless you this fabulous Friday. God, we know it is raining outside and sometimes I know it causes us to feel some kind of way. But let us rejoice in the rain. Come on, somebody. I remember as a kid, we used to go play in the rain. But God, let us feel your divine hand being at work, doing whatever he wants to do. But we just celebrate life and may we have it more abundantly. God, I thank you for a new day, a day we haven't seen before. May you be glorified in Jesus' name. May God's people say amen. Amen. All right, guys, it is good to see y'all, man. Y'all popping on at 630. But listen, I praise God. I see you, Brother Joe, from Kearney, Nebraska. I show sure miss being out there in the country, man. I might get me a, a, a round trip ticket to get back out there in Kearney real soon. Come on now. Well, look, we're going to get into the word of God. This is... Uh, uh, fabulous Friday, and uh, I want to ask a couple of questions, okay? I want to ask a couple of questions today to start this off. Did you take yesterday devotion series? Did you take it so serious that you decided you're going to let your light shine? Yeah. Yeah. Second question. Do you plan on taking today's devotion series? Yeah. What we going to talk about today, are you going to take it serious? Are you going to put it in action? See, we talked about yesterday letting your light shine before others because so that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father. Man, ain't it so cool when we get an opportunity to lead the way for people to glorify God? Ain't that something? Let me tell you the reason why. The reason why is because the title we have in Christ. Do you even know your title in Christ? Do you know your purpose in Christ? See, this rhyme word today on this fabulous Friday is going to make it clear for each and every one of us. We are Christ ambassadors. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20, we are therefore Christ ambassadors. Here's the reason why, though. As though God was making his appeal through us. God was making his appeal through us. That appeal, he says, we implore you. That means we plead with you. That means we urge you. As the Bible goes on, it says, you are on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. Brothers and sisters, Paul was telling the church something that, man, that is so prolific for us to receive so that we can understand who we are and to whom we to work for and what we to do here on this earth. And he was explaining this. This is a mission. This is a simple mission that he was given by the Lord, though. Okay? This mission was given by the Lord to go and take this message of reconciliation to mankind all over the world. And this is being done through faith. You can't do it if you're not walking in faith. OK, so so the question is, if we are not sharing this gospel, we have to say, well, I'm not walking in faith. And that, that that's not going to work because, hey, you will call and I will call to be ambassadors. And we know what ambassadors does, just like political ambassadors. They go to a foreign country and they represent their country. They're given what to say, how to say it, who to meet with. Hey, man. And they have to be people, pe people persons, man. They got to be willing to say the tough, st man, they got to say the tough stuff. Brothers and sisters, we were given, we were given a task. And this 2,000 years ago. We are Christ's ambassadors. And I want to ask you, are you ready to release your faith this Fabulous Friday, knowing that God was making his appeal through us to bring his message to change mankind? That's right. 
This message was meant to change everybody. This truth is for real. Brothers and sisters, look, we just going to keep it simple, saints. We're going to keep it simple by what? Doing the work of an evangelist. What? That's right. Doing the work of an evangelist. Paul was telling Timothy, hey, this is what you're called to do. To do the work of an evangelist is anyone who's going to bring the good news to another is an evangelist. You are an evangelist. I'm an evangelist. Because we are Christ's ambassadors. We know what the good news says. We've been given the word of God. You yourself is saved. Well, it's time for us to stretch out, guys. It's time for us to get into, hey man, our mindset that we let our light shine because we ambassadors of Christ. So how do we do it? Why? Why we are evangelists, right? Brothers and sisters, we just need to look at it because there's three reasons. Number one, because God, you know, what he decided to give us this title, this purpose, this mission. Here's the reason why. Because we were approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. God approved us. He trusted us with the truth. How many of you all have seen a deal at a store and you call your friend up and you told him, man, you won't believe this deal. You got to go get it. In the golf world, come on, man, in the golf world, when we see something that's on sale, we call our golf buddies. Listen, you want to get down to this store. You won't believe the golf sale. Man, the clearance rack is amazing. You want to get down here to check it out. We're excited about telling people about things we experience. How about a restaurant, something that you have not tried before, and you somebody took you to a restaurant, and it blew your mind and said, oh, man, I really enjoy this restaurant. Let me go tell somebody else. See, what we do for a living, we market other people really good. Yes, we do. And they're not even asking you to market them. They're not asking you to tell people about them. You enjoy something, you experience something, therefore you have no other choice but tell because it's in your soul. It's just word in your soul. Being reconciled from God, being brought from the darkness to the light, is that in your DNA? Does that make you want to open up your mouth and celebrate? You, we were giving, we were approved by God the great message of reconciliation to share the gospel. Number two, we've been sent to this world to represent God's kingdom. Listen, man, God gave us another day of life and breath and everything else. Why did he do that? For us to be busy bodies? For us to be idle? No, so we can let our light shine. We can be the ambassadors. We can speak the truth. We can live the truth. We can be about the purpose. Hey, brothers and sisters, it is our responsibility to reflect our official position to mankind. That's our responsibility. And number three, we were empowered. We've been empowered by the Holy Spirit, and we must take this message to the world based on the word of God. He says this very clearly. God was making this appeal through us to bring his message to change mankind. This message, this reconciliation to bring people back to God. We were created by God for God. Come on now. What are you waiting for? Brothers and sisters, I had a good friend call me and, and reached out to me. And he said, I need to talk to you, Pastor Rob. I said, okay, so you got a little time? I said, I got a little time. He said, I need to tell you something, man. He said, I want to tell you, keep doing what you're doing. He said, man, I was feeling some kind of way. I was at the brink of struggling and I made in my mind that I was going to do something that was not going to be of God. He says, man, he got home and he put his earphones on. He went to YouTube. He put on a message that I was preaching. He fell asleep and the message kept going on to the next video, to the next video. And in the video, I mean, in the message, in his dream, he dreamed that him and I was walking. Now he's asleep. He's got his earphones on, listening to these devotions. 
He said he felt like him and I was walking the streets and I was talking to him. And man, he said, man, he, he woke up about 45 minutes later and what he wanted to do, he did not do it. He repented. He called me to tell me that he needed to me to know that, hey man, what God is doing is changed. He's changed his life. See, when you're an ambassador of Christ, don't worry about if you're doing what, if somebody's going, life's going to change. If you do what you're supposed to do, God's going to move, okay? Hey, man, listen, I hadn't heard from this brother in several years. Brothers and sisters, we are called, man, and God is making this appeal through us. And oftentimes, we don't know how we impact in the world, but you are. You are impacting the world. Either you're doing it in Christ or you're not. But I am telling you, if you do it in Christ Jesus, doing the work of the evangelist, you will provide fruit for other people and a way out for other people because they all, we all tempted with something. Come on, somebody. Come on, y'all. Let's do the work of the evangelist. Let's go shout out faith every day. And I'm going to help you with that. I'm going to help you with that. Tomorrow, Saturday, May the 28th, we're meeting at my church from 10 a.m. to 12. We're going to walk the community. We're going to pray over the community. We're going to speak to the community. Normally, I stand on the corner. No, we're walking. We're going to walk all over the community. We are going to be the evangelist that God has given us the rights to be. Meet us tomorrow morning. Come about 9.30. Brothers and sisters, we're going to be at 5628 West Washington. What's something red? Because we're going out on the streets. You want to see something? Okay, all right. I'm going to show you what it's like to walk by faith and not sit on sight. Heavenly Father, we love you this morning. We bless you for this wondrous word on this fabulous Friday. God, I pray, as we talked about yesterday, letting our light shine so that others may see our good deeds and glorify you, our Father. Because we were given the title and the position as Christ's ambassadors because you were making your appeal through us you implore us, and that's what the word does. We want to plead with others to come on back. We want to urge them to receive this good message of salvation, that their life may be different. And God, I pray, God, that we won't forget that we were approved by you by, and, and entrusted with such a great gospel. God, that we're here to represent your kingdom, not the things on the earth, in the world, God, I thank you that we've been empowered by the Holy Spirit. And therefore, hey, this message is going to go forth because of who you are, God. May we won't forget what you're doing in our lives. God, I thank you for the encouragement for us to keep going forward, not backwards. Thank you, God, for speaking to our hearts this morning and this afternoon and this evening. May we never be the same. In Jesus' name. Let God's people say, man, y'all just been kissed. Come on now. On what? On this fabulous Friday. I'm going to challenge you again. Come out tomorrow with me. Man, we're going to be at our church at 5628 West Washington. We'll get there by 930 a.m., but we're going to start walking at 10. Come on. I don't care what you're doing. Come on now. Let's go. If you can't walk, get in the car. You can drive around and pray. We're going we going to spare, spread this gospel. Brothers and sisters, I love y'all. And I know God loves us both. You are not doing what God is calling you to do today. Repent. Come on, man. Repent. Do what the Lord wants us to do. Because we always go to the Lord and ask him to do this, that, and another for us. Don't we do that? I tell you one thing for sure. When it's all said and done, I want him to say, well done, good and faithful servant. This is Pastor Robert Lewis Stevenson. I'm signing off on this fabulous Friday. May you enjoy the rain. Don't you complain about the rain. Enjoy the rain. Because God doing his business. I love y'all. Take care, y'all. Come on. I should preach some more. Come on, y'all.